Hey real fam, what's up? Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, wait a minute, I said that backwards. You all know what I mean. Welcome here, welcome back. So, I'm just sitting here in my kitchen just thinking about some childhood things that I went through regarding food. If you're a long time follower, you know that I'm part Jamaican. My father's side of the family was Jamaican slash um, Trinidadian. I think some of them came from Trinidad and some came from Jamaica. But either way, I'm a natural islander. That's where I came from. Um, I grew up eating a lot of interesting foods. I can't say, I'm uh, saying interesting just to put it lightly. <laughs> And if you are an islander or you know anybody who is, or if you grew up that way, you already know how they are. They eat a lot. They shame you if you're considered too skinny. Even if you're not too skinny, they say you're too skinny. They try to force food down your throat as a child. I remember, I remember this so much. <sighs> that entire side of the family, especially my um, grandmother, who's no longer alive. I remember she used to kind of forced food down my throat whenever we visited her and it was irritating. It was her and everybody else in the family would just call me too skinny. And he'd look at my parents and say, feed the pitney. She's too skinny. She has no meat on her bones. And it was ridiculous. I was just naturally skinny because my parents were skinnier right then. <laughs> so this is what it is. And we just didn't eat a certain way. So yeah, I was always having food forced down my throat. If it wasn't her, it was somebody else, or it was my father himself. Forced me to eat things, forced me to eat too much food, too much. Forced me to eat more than I could handle, you know what I mean? More than my little body could handle. And that was very irritating. I grew up hating mealtime a lot because of being forced to overindulge, being forced to overeat. Like, who wants to do that? But again, that's what I was forced to do. <sighs> so, I want to mention that one of the weirdest foods I've ever eaten as a child was, um, tripe. Do you know what tripe is? Probably not. Take a wild guess. Yeah, go ahead, take a, take a guess. I don't know if I'm putting this title, the title of the video and give it away, but yeah, just take a guess. What's tripe? No googling. Well, if you have not guessed by now, tripe is a cow stomach. Oh, 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 oh my god! It's literally the same thing. Now, I did not know this when I was a child. Hell, I didn't know what tripe was when I was a child. I just knew it was disgusting. I looked at it on my plate. And it was just disgusting and slimy. Yeah, it's the most disgusting, slimiest piece of meat you could ever eat. And it's not meant to be eaten. I guarantee you it's not meant to be eaten because it's so damn tough. I remember trying to bite the shit and you can barely even bite through tripe. It was gross. I mean, I guess it tasted okay when it was cooked right, but the texture, y'all, the texture. You know how kids are with textures. You already know how kids can be with like certain textures of foods and then it's like, oh, I don't want that because it's too slimy, it's too icky and all that. But this was justified, y'all. This shit was justified. Look at this picture. Look at this. This is gross. Tripe is fucking disgusting. I don't know how they ate that. And I was forced to eat it. I don't remember if my mother agreed with that or she just went with the flow or she liked it herself. I don't even know. I was a child. But I remember being forced to eat this shit. Now it was kind of crazy because in New York, you know, New York is very cultural, so New York has like a little bit of everything. New York probably has every food under the sun from every culture, every banner, every nationality. So I guess tripe was readily available around in New York and all the other Jamaican foods that I grew up eating. All the good Jamaican foods were extremely readily available back then in supermarkets and anywhere else you can get, I guess, because we had a lot of it. You know, I grew up eating a lot of food. A lot of food, and it was like, I had a love-hate relationship with eating. Because my father's side of the family were kind of gluttons, gluttonous. It was ridiculous. You know, along with the tribe thing, you know, we had a bunch of 
course, normal good foods. You know, like um, we had fish, um, oxtails, we had jerk chicken, we had aki, we had uh, kalaloo, we had cornbread, we had um, whatever else they like to eat. I can't remember everything at the moment, but it was just a lot of food. We had a lot of damn food. We had beans, turkey, anything you could possibly mention. And the way Jamaicans cook, they make a lot of food. They make a lot of food. And not only is it sometimes overly salty, but it's just a lot of damn food. Like, why would you make that much food? This ain't Thanksgiving. They cook like it's Thanksgiving every day. They cook like it's, it's uh, Christmas every day. They cook as if they're having three damn families coming through to eat off of their leftovers. That's generally how they cook. And it's kind of ridiculous. They overindulge in food. And I'm not sure if that's some subconscious thing from slavery to where we're not used to having food so now we're still just oh my god food just eat, eat as much as, it, as you can until you get fucking sick or that's just the, the hell I don't know where it came from it's just weird it's just weird how much food islanders some islanders tend to indulge in and you know it's a wonder that I'm not a glutton today because oh my god <laughs> I would be huge if I kept up those habits but because I didn't really like those habits as a child, I did not keep them. I did not warm those habits into my household. There ain't no way. Mm -mm. Not this family. There is no way. <laughs> I would not have my kids eat like that. I would not force my kids to eat, you know, like two plates, you know, huge ass plates all the time, you know, with sweet potato and dumplings and all these rich, yummy, hearty foods. Yeah, they're delicious, but um, guess what? They're gonna put so much damn weight on you. You eat like that, you're gonna gain 10 pounds a week. And yeah, a lot of Islanders, they're unhealthy. They're overweight, they have high blood pressure, they have diabetes, they have um, all kind of conditions. You know, it's, it's just not good. Heart disease, it's just not good. And I'm prone to all that, unfortunately, because um, it's just in my blood, I guess. But I'm not going down like that though. I'm not going to eat like that. I do not come in eating like that. It's disgusting and gluttonous and I'm not doing it. You know? There are some things, there are a lot of things that we have to put down as far as slavery. There's a lot of things we gotta put down. As far as these old mentalities, you know, you can't carry some of those things. You're gonna kill your damn self. So as far as eating like them, I, I don't do that. We don't do that here. My husband would let me anyway if I wanted to. And hell, I don't freaking want to. That's just ridiculous. I'm not a glutton. <laughs> we can never eat like that here. My kids would be 200 pounds, okay? Mm -mm. <laughs> but the way my kids eat, yeah, they would be huge. And I'm not having that. So yeah, the most disgusting thing I've ever had as a child, like I said, was that tripe. It's disgusting. You don't want it. You can't chew it. I mean, imagine, think about your stomach. Think about your stomach fibers and trying to grind through this. You're... Especially as a child, you, you know, your teeth are still developing. You're trying to, like, uh uh. It, it was torture, y'all. It was freaking torture. And I was forced to eat it. Um, I think there were a few times where I, I guess, got sent away without fully eating all the tripe on my plate. But I couldn't understand why they enjoyed eating tripe in the first place. I just didn't understand. But again, it's probably your slavery mindset. It's probably, you know, we got used to being thrown little doggy bones or wor shit worse than doggy bones. We got used to being thrown whatever disgusting piece of the animal there was. You know, you know, pig hearts, pig feet, pig bladders, all kind of stuff. Um, probably even cow parts too. You know, maybe that was a thing in Jamaica, but either way, it's gross, y'all. I can't. I can't. Let me know if you've eaten tripe. Have you tried tripe? Have you seen tripe? Have you heard of it? I mean, let me know your comments and opinions down below. What do you think? Would you ever try this? Yummy delicacy? Let me know. Make sure you comment down below. Make sure you like this video because some of y'all be watching and y'all do not like. I need some likes. I need more likes on my videos lately. You know, I'm getting more comments, people are commenting more and interacting, talking to me on Instagram, but I'm not getting enough likes. Give me some likes. Okay? Helps my videos get boosted up in the algorithms and all that other good stuff. So yeah, 
Um, I believe that's it. I think I talked all I talked about everything that I wanted to regarding my childhood eating habits and the disgusting tripe that I will never eat again. <laughs> People say never say never. No, nah, never say never. No. <laughs> It would have to be a damn zombie apocalypse for me to pick up something like that again. That's just about it, y'all. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and all that other good stuff. I hope you're being productive and I hope you're happy. I also hope you're having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and decade. Thank you for watching. Peace out.